Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea and it's nice to have you guys here. Today I have a slightly different video and a different setup and if you are looking at the stuff behind me it might give you a hint. I am doing my Ted Baker collection today, hence not a lot of makeup, no hair done because the camera's not going to be focused on me for this video. <laughs> some backstory, I have been collecting Ted Baker accessories. I've got some clothing, I'm not going to feature the clothing today and I'm going to kind of skip over some of the accessories. This is going to be mostly my handbags because I'm in the process of switching out my spring summer handbags for my autumn winter handbags. I have a lot. This is certainly by no means bragging. This video has been requested by a few of you and I thought it would be kind of nice just to see where my collection is right now and have that for future reference. I am a grad student. I don't have a ton of money. I don't think I've paid full price for any of these. I'm pretty sure all of these have been bought at least 40% off during, you know, a sale in the winter or spring. It's something that I tend to save up for. And Ted Baker as a brand is just, they have an aesthetic that I really like and that's drawn me to them. And yeah, I'm kind of hooked. So yeah, I'm going to flip you around. I recently kind of put everything on this one shelf and everything is organized. So I'll kind of show you briefly what the shelf is like now um, and then I'll start pulling out all the handbags because like this is a summer one that needs to get put away and there's a fabulous winter one that I'm so excited to pull back out. <laughs> there's a couple that I'm excited to pull back out so yeah. This is something that I set up a few months ago. I just wanted to have all of my Ted Baker stuff in one place. I've mixed in a few things with it, but for the most part, it's all my Ted Baker items. As you can see at the bottom, I also have some fashion magazines. These are all of my UK and Europe fashion magazines. Most of these are British, but like, this is one from the Czech Republic. This is a French Vogue that I got while in Paris. Also on the bottom, I've got um, my two Kevin Aquan um, makeup books. This is a Ted Baker laptop case that I got. I just really liked the print on it. More fashion magazines on both sides, and then a picture of me shopping on the Champs-Élysées. A picture of my friend and I on her wedding day, which was cool. I've got a little telephone box coin thing. There are some coins in there. This shelf is probably the most random. Um, I've got a couple of travel bags, which I won't kind of, they're just, these are, this is a bag I got at Boots. This was probably one of the first Ted Baker purchases I ever made in the Scottsdale boutique. Really cute little bag. I've got a couple other travel bags. The box in the back has a fur stole from Ted Baker. I'm sure I'll show you at some point during Vlogmas, but I'm not going to get it out just yet. Other random things, I've got some bracelets, I've got a card holder that I got as a gift from a friend, and then two old cell phone cases. So this one still fits my phone, I'm just not using it at the moment. This one was for my old 4S, but this does work as a card holder, so I still use it. This I got for free when I bought my sunglasses, so they gave me a gift bag that had this this men's handkerchief, which is really pretty. So I got a bunch of free stuff with it, which is really cool. And then my larger off-season bags I keep up here. So during each season, the ones that I'm using, I kind of keep on display. So I'm going to get everything pulled off the shelf and arranged on my bed, and then I will walk you through all the bags and share the stories, because that's kind of the way that this collection has been built. I remember where I was and when I was every time I bought one of these bags. So each bag, I can't remember its official name, but I do remember the story of how I came to purchase it. So first I thought I'd show you the shoes. Um, I've got two that I wear quite frequently and two that are more just for special occasions. These are my favorite pair of just basic nude pumps. The heel isn't too bad. You can see I've worn them quite a bit. As long as I'm sitting periodically, I can wear these for a few hours. I've taught in them. I don't walk across campus in them, but I do stand and teach a class in them. I just love them and they go with everything. These are a pair of kind of 
brogues, I guess you would call them, um, Oxfords. They're just really cute. The heel is really low. I can wear these all the time. Um, they look great with jeans and they're just super cute. I get a lot of compliments on these. I had to go a size up in these because they didn't have my size, but I, I make them work because I love them. And then this, these are beautiful shoes. You can tell I don't wear them that often, but they've got this gorgeous bow detail. I keep all the packaging in, so there's a little foam in here to keep them together. This has a much higher heel, tiny little peep toe, but they're just, they're gorgeous. I love them. They're works of art, even if I don't wear them. <laughs> These are also really beautiful. They've got kind of a mesh cage, very neutral. They look great, but again, high, high heel. And just because of the health problems that I'm having now, um, it's really hard for me to wear really high, thin heels, so. But I won't get rid of them. These all were purchased at DSW, which occasionally carries Ted Baker online, and I used um, reward certificates for these, so they were already discounted to be on DSW, and then I paid even less. So get those boxed back up and put away. Um, and yes, my pillowcases are also Ted Baker. I admit I have a problem. I admit I have a problem. But do I care about that problem? No. I really don't. So for small handbags and accessories, um, I have this little coin purse that says you make my heart skip a beat, and then a penny well spent brings content. Inside I like it because it's got a few slots, so I can put some cards in there and then some cash, and I've got some coin. Let's see what currency it is. <laughs> when was I last using it? Oh, it looks like it's, it's a check crown. I've got four, one, one cent <laughs> of check money. Um, so yeah, if I ever go back to Prague, I'm rich. I have a Ted Baker iPad case. I use this sometimes also as a clutch, so it pulls double duty. This I might have paid full price for just because full price it wasn't too bad. A pocket that I can slip like papers and stuff in and then the iPad just goes in the main compartment. But when I've used this as a clutch, it works really, really well as a clutch. This is a clutch. This is my blue crosshatch bag. It's not gonna show up in the lighting, unfortunately, but it's got a really cool texture underneath the kind of clear overlay. It's got the Ted Baker logo on the one side and then it's kind of embossed on this side. It does have a strap which you can unclip and then it's just got two two pockets. One pocket has some card slots um, and the other pocket is just an open pocket. So I bought this two years ago coming up this December um, in the Covent Garden location. These were both purchased in the Scottsdale location and then this was purchased on Amazon and this is a passport travel wallet so I haven't used it yet. I bought it for my trip. I did not do like an unboxing or a haul when I got this because I hadn't yet announced the trip, but I love it. It's got uh, keep it together. It's purple and rose gold. It's got a little pen and then room to put a few things and then you've got the spaces for tickets, documents, and dosh or cash. So it's really nice and it's a really good size. So like when I'm going to the airport, this will hold my passport, my cash, my boarding pass, but I can also slip my iPhone in there. I find that when I travel, I usually have my hands full trying to keep my passport and my IDs and my wallet and my phone and everything together because I'm usually using them as I go through all the lines, especially since these days my phone is my boarding pass because that's how I get my boarding pass for the flight is through the app. Love this. I'm really excited to use this. Um, and as you will see in a little bit, I actually have a handbag that matches this. <laughs> so this is one of my summer, spring, spring, summer bags. I looked at this in a few different Ted Bakers. I bought this the summer of 2014 in London during that summer sale. It's got this really pretty floral print on both sides of the bag. Uh, and then rose gold hardware. I looked at a few different places for this one. I think I looked at it at the Covent Garden location and I think the Oxford Street location because the arrangement of the print was a little different on each one and they had a few different colors. There was a really pretty blue with silver hardware. I ended up going with 
the um, pink with the rose gold. This is a smaller of my summer bags. This I have done a full unboxing. I'll try to link that. So I'm not going to go over this in too much detail. This is another bag. This is the one that I used in my very first what's in my bag video. I'll try to remember to link that if I can. I love this one. I bought this the summer of 2015 when I was staying in Oxford the second time. And this one was also purchased at the Cheapside location behind St. Paul's Cathedral. I just have so much luck there. It comes with a little clutch bag, which is great. Um, the only downside of this bag is the straps are really thin, so if I weigh it down too much, it's not the most comfortable to carry, but it does fit a lot, and I do really love it, and I love the peony print. This is one of my favorite prints that they've done. Those are kind of my three big spring-summer bags. This next one um, is actually the first Ted Baker handbag I bought. You can see I keep this one very well stuffed when I'm not using it. I will use this throughout the year if I need a black handbag during the summer, but it's got the really pretty filigree initials, a little pocket that I never use. It's got this really pretty quilted patent leather that I love. Inside, it's super stuffed, but it's got the same rose uh, black and white rose print and just your standard in interior pockets. It's really comfortable. I'd say the only thing that ever happens to my Ted Baker bags over time, like you can see here, it's un it's just worn a little bit and then the plastic coating that goes over the seam. It's hard to see on the black one, but it has come off in some spaces. But this bag has been worn a lot and is the oldest one. I've had that since 2011, I think. And this was purchased with a gift certificate that I got as a gift from my mom. And I keep it in this dust bag. So this next bag I keep when I'm not using it, I keep it in one of the carrier bags, which Ted Baker just does the cutest carrier bags. Their packaging is just adorable. And then I have it in an old pillowcase to keep it safe and also to keep the dust because this isn't closed. I bought this the summer of 20. 13 with a friend of mine. She'd stopped in for the day. She was on her way from the U.S. to Cambridge, I think, and she was spending the afternoon in London with me, and she convinced me. It's probably one of the most expensive ones I've purchased, even though it was on sale. It's definitely a splurge, but it's got these really nice fold-down kind of briefcase handles, so I can carry it like that, which is super nice. It has a really great front pocket that I can slip like my phone into or something if I'm on the go and I just need to put my phone somewhere really quick. And then when you open it, the same rose lining. They've been using this print focus. I'm, I feel like with the lighting, I'm just using that light. So I'm really sorry. There we go. Kind of rose and butterfly. Or this one is a butterfly print but black and white. It's got the basic pockets, but it's really roomy. It's a lot bigger than you would think. It's kind of a similar size to this one. This one's just a little bit smaller, but because this isn't broken up into different pockets, I can fit so much in here. Love it. So this is probably my second favorite bag. I mean, it's hard to have a favorite because I do genuinely love all of my bags, or I wouldn't have bought them, um, and I do use all of them. But this one, I get so many compliments on, and it's probably no surprise why. It's got the metallic with the red glitter. It's got the little top handle, but then it does have a shoulder strap inside. It's got the really cute dog print on the inside lining. It's just a little satchel, so it's got the outside satchel pocket, and then it it has kind of the standard cell phone lip gloss pockets on the inside. It's great for holiday parties because I can fit all of the essentials and it's not too big. I have to see if it will fit my vlogging camera. <laughs> I usually take this to any Christmas party that I get invited to and every time I wear it people want to steal it off of me. So I got this as a Valentine's Day gift to myself a few years ago. Valentine's maybe 2013. It was, I want to say, I think it was 60% off. 
It was a ridiculous deal on Nordstrom's website. Got that for myself, and I love it. It's so pretty and sparkly and makes for great Instagram photos. <laughs> and then last but not least is this giant bag which has a box inside. So this was my Christmas present from my mom last year and she got me good. Got to turn around for this story. So we both went into Ted Baker on the same day and do our Christmas shopping and we both walked around and pointed out stuff that each of us would want for Christmas and then she left. I did my shopping, bought her gift, and then I left and texted her and said that it was safe for her to go in, and so she went in and bought my gifts. <laughs> and then when I met her later, she had this giant bag, like it's bigger than half my body. And she wouldn't let me carry it, because that would kind of give it away. So she's like, I told them to just give me the biggest bag they had and the biggest box they had, and it could be either one of the handbags you were looking at, or it could be a gift certificate. You won't know until Christmas. Christmas comes, and I can see the bag. She's got it just as it, just as I showed you. All boxed up, all wrapped up, but then inside the bag was the box, and inside the box were a bunch of random gifts. So I thought, okay, she didn't get the bag I was looking at, she got me a gift certificate, and I'm just gonna have to go back to Ted Baker tomorrow so that I can get the bag before it sells out, because I think there was only one left. And then I opened up the last gift, she had me wait for the last gift, and inside was the bag, and I started crying. So this is from the winter 2015 range and was my Christmas gift last year. So last year they had this whole abominable snowman thing that was really cute. So this is the box that they gave my mom for the bag, which is really handy because then it's great for storing my bags in the between time. And then inside the box, because you don't really care about the box, you care about the bag, right? Is this bag which I am in love with. I haven't seen it since I put it in here back in like February, March. I, th I think it was March that I finally stopped carrying it because it is more of a winter print. What I really love about this bag is it's super light because it's made out of a neoprene. It's not leather. It's leather for the straps, but the bag is not leather. It's just a stretchy neoprene, which I have to be careful because I'm worried it will stretch out of its shape. And it's got rose gold hardware with Ted Baker printed on it and then the straps it's just got the shoulder straps and then it has a little clasp here so it doesn't zip but I can clasp this to keep this together um, so like if I put my iPad or something in here if this is clasped you can't pull the iPad out I just love this bag it's super comfortable to carry it's so pretty if I wear a, like an all black outfit it just becomes such a statement piece and this is probably my second favorite print I'm obsessed with peonies so these are probably my two two of my favorite everyday bags during their respective seasons because of the print so love that one and then like I said before it, it matches both my little card case and my travel wallet I love it I'm so excited to start wearing it again okay so now it's all back together <laughs> I'm looking a bit darker now not so much bright pink what I like about having it all like this is even when I'm not wearing or carrying one of these pieces, I can still see it. You know, this is right before you go into my bathroom, which is right over there. <laughs> Whenever I'm walking through my room, you know, even if I'm not carrying that bag, it's still beautiful and it adds to the decor of the room. And yeah, that's been a my Ted Baker collection. It's not everything. There are some clothes. There's a scarf that I haven't shown you. There's a couple tote bags that I got as free gifts. So I hope you liked this. Again, I'm sorry that the lighting is not that great. I just knew that doing it vlog style in the bedroom was going to be a million times easier and faster than hauling all of this stuff out to the living room where the lighting is better. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.